censorship, traffic throttling, and shadow banning of content has impacted the Andres Segovia show's reach across the big tech platforms. In order to make the program uncancelable, I made the show available across multiple different platforms in various types of formats. Your support for the show goes a long way to ensure the lights stay on. There are different ways you can support. One, you can sign up for Locals, which is free, and you can choose to be a paid supporter through there. Locals is where you get exclusive shows within the show and exclusive access to me directly. But if Locals is not for you, you can always check out my storefront on Amazon, where you can buy my published works from the Enoch Bellagio series or the Andres Segovia show, Transcripts of the Early Days. You can also shop for the gear that I use to make my coffee. If you're wondering what kind of tools you might need to produce your own podcast because you want to get into that, you can also check out my my tech on how I produce my show there as well. So go to theandresegovia.com forward slash shop. That's theandresegovia.com forward slash shop and find all the links there. That's theandresegovia.com forward slash shop. This is the Andre Segovia show. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the program. I am your host, Andre Segovia. My son and i would like to wish our friends and family and my listeners across the pacific ocean blue (laughs) i can't do it with the straight face sir (laughs) oh my goodness all right i've been trying to record my episode it's just been so difficult so i'm gonna leave the bloopers in as my son is grabbing the microphone can you leave the no no they're gonna hear the bumps sir they're gonna hear the bumps that's a green light well, what I was trying to say is my son and I would like to wish my listeners, family, and friends across the Pacific Ocean Blue a shin and kwai la. And I hope I said that right. But you're distracting me, sir. You're distracting me. So I'm going to keep this one brief because the little guy is probably going to cry over not being able to grab his microphone. <laughs> well, uh, what I wanted to say was that uh, for those of you that do are not subscribed to my social media or my video platforms, you should be. It's at the Andre Segovia across almost everything except Twitter. Twitter is underscore Andre Segovia. And I highlight this because I've been covering some of the drama that's been happening in the conservative space. And I'm not going to go over it right now, but it does have to do with the Steven Crowder, uh, the Daily Wire debacle. Now, I am chronicling all, the, all of this, including my takes on all this before, during and after, although we're technically not an after uh, with, or, uh, with responses to all of it. So if you're interested in that, you can find the post on my website, www.thinscover.com. And you can also subscribe to my Substack, where you can also listen to my podcast and get my uh, my articles. So those posts will be updated because later the day that uh, this episode is published, uh, Stephen Crowder is going to go on TimCast. And I don't know if he's going to just add more fuel to the fire or if this will be settled you know, finally and hopefully they deal with it quietly. And that's, that's all i got to say about that. Anything else, i just put on the post. Uh, other things, uh, yours truly is, is being a part of other podcasts. Those episodes have already been recorded. They're not my podcast. I, uh, I join as, as a collaboration with others. So there's a movie podcast and also um, just commentary on some politics, such as uh, cancel culture and how that's been going on. Uh, but most importantly, uh, I've also been invited on uh, Instagram Live to discuss the breakdown of how our Congress, yes, sir, how our Congress actually works. Uh, I do. I did a breakdown on the role of the Speaker of the House. So if you're interested in that, the feedback has been very positive. Uh, they say it was very informative, th- those that tuned into the live and then thereafter. I recommend you check it out. Uh, Instagram, at the Andrew Segovia. You can find me tagged on the video and you'll be able to watch it there if you want to learn more the breakdown of how our government works. And because they really liked everything I had to say, um, they're planning on having me on again in a not so distant future. So with that being said, other stuff that's been happening in the background, some changes to the website. I have completed my third entry into my romantic comedy series, The Many Misadventures of Enoch Bellagio. Stay tuned for that as I wait for the cover to be finalized and then be able to tell you all when the paperback and Kindle version will be up for pre-order or just outright purchase. Once that's set, though, I'm going to do a poll about this because there are people that have been asking me for an audio version of this. So that if I do that, it'll obviously be an audible thing. Um, it's it's like recording a podcast. And because during the um, the lockdowns from three years ago, three years ago already, can you believe that? But when I, during the lockdowns, I actually did spend time uh, doing a chapter by chapter reading of my first novel. 
And I realized that, hey, no, I, I probably can't do this. And some people expressed that it was um, a better listening experience emotionally because they understood the emotion of the character, characters that I was projecting. And uh, it's it give, I have had that on the brain. It just requires a lot of time. Um, but if you guys are interested, then I'll give it even more consideration along with other projects that I have. So... I do have other tech things that are down the pipeline, but I want to uh, prioritize certain real estate and business centric episodes because whether you're a renter, whether you're a property owner, whether you're a seasoned investor, uh, all that, I know you guys are following what's happening with the economy. Uh, there, Some of you are struggling to buy eggs. Some of you are, are still filling this thing at the pump and we're probably not going to see anything improve on that point. So if you're still hurting and, you, and you're looking to have a place to call your own. Is that even possible in this market? Well, yeah, it is. Uh, it just, I, I recommend you tune into my episode. When is the right time to buy? Because the advice remains the same, but you still need to do your own research, right? So I am lining up interviews uh, with some of my friends in the lending business uh, that I want to bring on. We already spoken. They really want to come on too. So we can discuss uh, information and questions that, uh, that you might have to have those answers that will help you make a decision if you intend to buy um, this year or even sell to then buy again. Uh, the other one I'm looking at uh, bringing on um, the author of Why the Rich Stay Rich and the Poor Stay Poor. They have a tried and true program on how you can grow your estate. It doesn't matter what um, basically state of the economy is. It's just making sure you're, uh, you're planning right and executing at the right time. Uh, so those are some of the financial stuff that I wanted to highlight that I want to bring on. And if anyone's interested in looking into private money, um, I have reached out to the PR rep of someone that's reached out to be on my show. And I'll I'll let you know if, if that interview will happen and come down the pipeline. And, and along those lines, I, I didn't know if I really wanted to make my show so interview heavy, uh, but it does feel that way and uh, for those of you that prefer the other content such as tech and things or the interviews that you don't mind it being all on one channel i'm going to keep it that way uh but sometimes it's the interviews that make my episodes uh either be demonetized or throttled um so i i have taken that into consideration i just think that managing a whole other channel would be um, a tall order yes i know it's frustrating huh um you want me to wrap it up already yeah is that is that what you want me to do just wrap it up already Oh, give me that look. <laughs> okay. All right. So my little one's telling me, be quiet already, daddy. This has gone too long. So lucky you. Here's the conclusion. Follow me across the socials at the Andres Agover. The show notes available are always at the Andres Um, What else do you want me to tell them? The polls or the question and answer stuff? Yeah, that stuff usually happens on social media. But those of you on Spotify, every now and then there'll be a question and answer poll or question and answer section and a poll. Uh, I recommend you participate in it. My engagement with you is very important. And that's the last thing I'll leave you with in terms of engagement. More direct engagement with yours truly is available with my locals community, which is free. Uh, you, all you got to do is sign up and you can connect directly with me. And there's a lot more content there that doesn't make the main show anywhere because i prefer it just to be uh sharing with those that actually uh want to connect with me that's where i'll leave it folks thank you so very much for tuning into this uh i guess this briefing on the under sokovia show status uh and as always i'll see you on the next one